All right, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. You guys know, spending a lot of time, a lot of my free time working on this Civic, getting it done. Like I said, guys, I really appreciate the feedback. You know, it's great to, uh, you know, taste, take something that pretty much once was old and tired and worn out and then, you know, make it something better than original, better than brand new. So we're just chucking right along. We're gonna get back on this harness. You guys know in the last video, um, talked about routing, you know, laying out your ideas before you go ahead and tackle this job. This is a pretty long job. So, you know, get ready to dedicate some time to this, but check it out, let's get into it. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so we're making headway. It's getting kind of late at the shop. Um, want to get home, but uh, still want to work on this wiring harness, so that's what's cool about, you know, the harness being off the car. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this thing home and, uh, you know, wrap up a little more of it before the day's over. We'll get to my house, get set up, show you where we're at with everything, and get out of here. So I'm all set up down here in the basement. This is probably a better setup than sitting on that chair. My back is starting to hurt anyways. Uh, got everything set up I'm gonna need. The torch, soldering gun, clippers and all that stuff. Got the, the wire sheathing down here on the floor. All the sizes. Pretty much uh, start off where I left off. At the shop. We got the, uh, we got the ground that goes by the thermostat and the uh, coolant sensor, I'm gonna lengthen those. Got the starter S wire lengthened already. And then I'll probably just carry on, lengthen the, uh, the map sensor. 
The uh, frontal two I'm not going to need. The trans sensor I won't have to lengthen at all. And then we'll see where we're at from there. All right, we're just moving right along, guys. I got uh, Bryce down here playing Fortnite, so you got to be uh, sparingly on the videos. It's being kind of loud and get, really getting into it. But uh, doing the uh, mid temp sensor right now, I'm going to probably lengthen this probably about three inches. Not too much, maybe four or five inches actually. You got a green and a red, so I'll probably do uh, brown and a red. Basically, get my lengths about that much. Cut them back. Get my uh, shrink tubing all set. Keep these straight. Throw a little piece of tape in the middle here. Gonna go ahead and put the shrink tubing on. Cut it back about a half inch. And then I pretty much just use the uh, you know the spread it method, kind of fan them both, set them in there. And then just twist it together. We got go red going to red here. That way it gives you a nice clean straight line, straight wire when you solder it. You can see there, there's one. Fan them out. My fingers are really starting to hurt. Just like that. I'll go ahead and solder this side. You guys can see I got that side done. And then we'll go ahead and uh, solder the other side back to the harness. Cut it back. Basically, you just want to make sure you keep track of your colors. You know, solder the right color back to the right wire. Do, try to do a nice clean solder. And then just, uh, you know, make sure you weatherproof it real good. Tape it. You know, on some of these I uh, not only used the shrink tube, but I also, you know, went along with some electrical tape, taped it, and then I sheathed it. We got the red here. now and then just put the shrink tubing on there. A little piece of electrical tape right in the middle there. Just in case the shrink opens up or a little you know, point goes through on the solder, you don't want it to short out on the other one. And then there we go. We're just going to depin this thing now. And then we're going to put some sheathing on there. Basically, pop out the lock. You guys seen that with the lighting here. Sometimes are hard to get out. Get my little T pin I've been using. Note the orientation. We got the green to the left of the clip. That's all I gotta remember there. Just slide it on down. Just work your way down till you get almost to the end. And then what I'll do is snip it off.
could uh, give the tip a quick melt so it doesn't fray. Kind of keeps it together. And then finish it off here all the way to the bottom. All we got to do is just pull the tape off. And then we'll pop in, put the lock back on. And then take the test of tape. Tape the end, make it look clean. Just like that. I like to show a little bit of color at the end of the plug. Plug this loose uh, sensor back in. And then tape this side to the harness. 2,000 years later. So we got through most of the harness. Another, uh, you know, two and a half hours in. This harness probably took me a good four or five hours to do, but uh, we're gonna end with this last injector wire. I'm gonna wire in the new pigtail. I'll show you guys how I do it. Pretty much just uh, deep pin them. What pieces I'm not gonna use. We don't need the old connector. Cause we're gonna run them direct. Just wanna get in there, get the pins out. We're not able to use these pins, so we're just going to cut them close. Get these stripped back. Solder this last one in there. So we've got enough wire exposed on the connector. Just cut this side off. Got everything cut back. The one with the black trace is your ground. So we'll go ahead and get that set up on here. so it holds everything together also makes it so they don't short out on each other we're gonna go ahead and deep pin this got it deep pinned we'll go ahead and uh, hit the end of the sheathing with the heat toss a little piece of tape on here so the metal doesn't snag it running on through. Go ahead and pull the tape off and then just repin it. Got it repinned in there. And we'll put the lock right back in there. And we'll just tape off the ends. Your saloon is done. There we go. All four injectors. Alright guys, so it's the next day. We're back at the shop. Um, man, that uh, definitely took a while. I mean, my fingers are, uh, you know, pretty much bleeding from, you know, twisting all those wires together. Um, I got the links pretty much set out. I got the harness laid here on the floor and, you know, looking at it, I mean, this thing's probably better than a rye wire. That's why I'm glad we did spend the time. Um, you know, most of it was here at the shop and then just whatever I wrapped up last night, it's pretty much all set. You know, go ahead and show you guys this. Looks like a, uh, looks like a tree, but got everything, uh, lengthened and then you know I, I, I kind of sheathed it with uh, you know the sheathing and all that stuff and then I just use test of tape on the thicker part uh, I think it's got I think it looks better anyways the only reason why I really sheathed it is because you know, this stuff's 
real malleable. You could bend it, it's not stiff. So kind of route it where you gotta route it and tie it up. But got all the harnesses I'm pretty much gonna use. I do have a front O2 sensor still on there. Probably won't be utilizing that, but I could always tie that up. Got the injectors, one and four. This will come up from under the intake. Definitely got a lead on that. The alternator wire, um, you know, oil switch, all that stuff for the front. Got the uh, distributor, and then I left the uh, map sensor, air temp sensor, a little bit extra long because I want to route that behind the tubing and all that you know, behind the intake, so I left that extra long, but that's what it looks like there. Next step is pretty much just get this into the car, get everything tied back, routed where I gotta route it, and the uh, electrical's all done. So I kinda knew this one's gonna be, uh, you know, a couple part video, you know, pretty much, you guys seen the deep pinning you guys seen kind of it, it's inevitable you're gonna you're gonna solder you're gonna if you're a DIY harness you're gonna end up soldering wire you're gonna end up lengthening wires you know unless there's a certain kit that you could buy the pins for and obviously that would have been a lot more extra work yes it would have looked better but you know it I, as long as you got good solder joints I, you know I mentioned that in the last video guys I got nothing to worry about I'm not worried about this one you know, I kept it color, so if anybody's got ever got a diagnostic electrical, you know, do diagnostic on this harness or chase down a wire or a corrosion, if it does happen, you know, the color's original, everything's gonna be there. You could just chase the wire down separately, you know, in each loom and all that stuff, and it should be no problem, you know, thinking about the future in mind. So, um, you guys leave the comments, criticisms, questions below move on to the next one the next video we're probably going to do on the civic is uh you know the detail stuff the stuff i had to go through to make other stuff work like modifications and things like that you know you're always going to run into that with custom builds and deleting stuff and adding stuff and, and uh upgrades and all that stuff so i'll tell you a couple of the ones that i had to go through on this one um should make for a pretty cool video but as always guys like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next one signing out